blind and hopefully something good would happen to you you didn't know what you were going to get it was stepping out into the unknown those were the early stages of the hippie surf trail this was the european way of surfing all winter it was like pioneering again it was so virgin there, but the culture was so damn rich. Surfing was not on the map at the time. You know, there wasn't that many guys doing it. We were looked at as like all the surfers then, long-haired hippies that are probably chasing after their daughters. This is pretty true, you know. <laughs> These guys came and showed us how to surf. They were living in their vans on the beach, listening to some weird music, and they were surfing like gods. And this was another world to us, totally different world. They had no idea this stuff was going on. We brought this equipment that had never been seen before there, surfboards that looked pretty much like spaceships, and we ripped on them. They led the way. They were the first generation to explore and discover perfect new waves. Since then, surfing and traveling and exploration goes hand in hand. I love Europe and everything that comes with it. I think it's that cultural variety that really makes it so special. From huge waves to beautiful beach breaks, some of the most incredible waves in the world. When you travel, it's about life. There are special memories about the journey, the places you visited, or the people you met. Always looking for new adventures and new waves and new friends to meet too. It's the same buzz, it's the same feel of exploration and hopefully discovering amazing new surf spots. Can't wait. <laughs>